Now Lincoln has a massive coat. He has lots of length. He has brilliant texture for his coat. A Sheltie's coat should be reasonably coarse. On top and that coarseness actually helps stop them from being dirty. The dirt just pretty much brushes out once it's dry. I do find that blue males tend to have a slightly softer coat than some of the other colors. But in this instance, Lincoln actually has a really lovely texture to his coat, but he does have massive coat all over. He's got big length and he's got massive amounts of undercoat. So this is actually Lincoln. When I finish doing this line brush, he will be completely out of coat. He is doing a massive coat dump. And as you can see here, there's some coat coming through the brush. And I'm just creating my new line again. So again, wherever you'd like to start, that line is completely up to you. So long as you know where you've started. And in this instance, I'll work the other way just to show you. So again, you wanna create that definite line. Now, last time I worked my way down, this way I'm gonna work my way up just to show you the difference. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. Completely preference, just so long as you do eventually get everywhere. Now, again, up here, like I said, this is an area that does tend to get quite knotty. Give it a good spray. And you can see all those knots. I think he's having a little bit of a moan. But the most important thing is don't do weak little movements. You really have to get in there and brush it. There's no point just doing a little crappy little top brush that's not going to get in and get into that undercoat. And just little bits at a time. to show you that I've got that all out, comb, and you can run the comb through it. And it just runs through very easily. I'm not putting any pressure on that, and that's just running through. So that's what you're wanting to achieve at the end of your line. Groom, you're wanting to be able to just completely run a comb through really effortlessly. Like that. Now, as I said, my dogs are really quite used to this being done. So they've had it done since they were eight weeks of age. For your dog, if they're not used to it, just do short little five minutes. It doesn't matter if it takes you a week to complete the groom. Just do little bits at a time until they're used to it. And then you can obviously take a bit longer. You can do this in front of the TV. You can do this at night time, on the bed wherever you want to do it. But so long as you're relaxed, the dog is more likely to be relaxed as well. And that is basically all there is to a line groom. So as you can see, there's a few little knots. So there's a knot coming through here. You can see it come through. And the brush is getting quite full when the brush gets full. Just empty it, just pull it out. You will collect a pile of hair. You'll probably have an entire bag full of hair if your dog is dropping the coat when you finish. That's okay. But as you can see, a line groom is just the most effective way to get out that extra undercoat. 